Not saying that you are using it for this purpose with your question, but this is an argument I get often against homeschooling your children, especially in states like Texas where there is no regulation that you have to submit grades or work samples or anything like that to the local school board. So people are like, well, if that's the case, parents can just get off free and easy and lazy and, you know, just make up some things and say their kids did it. And I'm not saying that in the entire world of homeschooling, that doesn't happen. But like with everything else in life, parenting, educational decisions, life decisions, everything in general, you can't just generalize one or two bad eggs that will then ruin the entire concept. But by and large, parents choose to homeschool their children because they want a better educational experience for their children. Not because they want to be lazy and do nothing and just have their kids home with them all day long. Most people enter parenthood with the goal of raising capable, responsible, functioning adults. And so with that in mind, if we were to take the approach of eh, whatever, I'll just make up something to say that they learned something, how does that benefit me as the parent or my children as, again, future adults? I don't think most parents by and large ever set out to intentionally set their children up for failure. We chose homeschooling because we felt it was the better option to get a better, more rounded, more applicable to their life education. You're right, there are some states that don't really have any major oversight at all, like Texas or even in Alaska. Now in Alaska, we were enrolled in what would be kind of referred to as an umbrella program, which means I did have to report to them both grades and submit work samples. But if you lived in one of those states that didn't require any of that type of reporting whatsoever, I mean, I guess you could take the time to just whatever, throw them to the wolves and not care about your children's livelihood or education or future or anything like that. And, you know, make up a transcript and make up a high school diploma and be like, mm, yep, they're good. But that's what we call bad parents, guys. And I'm going to venture to say that there are things that are being far more neglected than just their education. But again, you have neglectful parents even in the public education system. And while we're here, let's talk about that. The public education system itself does on some sort of level exactly what you were saying, what stops homeschoolers from doing the same thing. I know this because I have personal friends that are public school teachers and I know people from social media that are public school teachers. And I have heard on more than one occasion I'm not allowed to fail any of my students. I have to pass them to the next level. The average high school senior is graduating with an eighth grade reading level. That's four grades below high school senior status. So even along those lines, the public education system is doing exactly what your comment proposed. They're just passing them along through the system anyways. They don't care whether or not they actually met the goals that were set for that grade level. But if you take any time to sit down and actually talk to a homeschooling family, you would see that as homeschooling parents, we are heavily invested in our children's education and in their future and the ability to accomplish whatever goals that they have in life. You're gonna find bad eggs in every single basket, but you can't go making assumptions or generalizations or calling a certain concept bad simply because there's a bad egg somewhere in amongst it all. Because if that were the case, there are parents out there that are far more neglectful and other words that I won't say to get flagged on TikTok, in which case, do we just say that parents aren't allowed to be parents anymore because you once knew this one that did something wrong? Always looking for the negative of things and generalizing a certain concept simply based on the negative that you think may happen or that you know in one case did happen, it's not any kind of way to actually view life. 